be sure to get your calendars out and mark down that reading day will be coming back to finals week and will remain on the academic calendar for next year. With Mox News, I'm Emily Kulik. Reading day is scheduled for December 3rd, which takes place the day after the last class and the day before finals begin. Faculty and staff advise students to take this day as a study break and use it wisely. SGA President Robert Fisher explains why reading day was canceled in the past. Reading day has happened, uh, honestly, for, for quite some time. It recently, uh, the 2011-2012 academic calendar year, uh, was removed from the, the academic calendar, and it's been that way. Uh, for the past two years, but this year it's being reinstated, and this year right before uh, the two right well excuse me Tuesday right before the beginning of exams, and so um, I, I think it's for many students an opportunity for se at least senior students to return to a, a practice that they were used to. According to UTC officials, unless a snowstorm or a significant event pushes back exams again, reading day will remain on the academic calendar for next year. Hello, you see Mox. I'm Donnie Swift, and I have all your weather information coming up here. The weather has been a dominant factor so far this week. Will we let that affect homecoming? Well, before we get into the mock eye forecast, I want to actually uh, let you guys know about some air, uh, weather that's going on around the U.S. If you can travel with me, we're going to go up to uh, Seattle, Washington. Seattle's weather look, uh, calls for highs in the mid to upper 50s today, and rain is going to be in their forecast. Then as we go down to Southern California, primarily San Diego, looking at highs in the mid to upper 70s. 72 degrees is what they're going to be looking at in San Diego. Then as we go into the Midwest, Kansas City looking at a high of 78 degrees and possibly even topping out in the mid to upper 80s for highs. And then as we go into the Northeast, primarily uh, the states of Pennsylvania, New York, and Maine, those states are not even looking at uh, 70s for highs. They're going to be looking at highs in the mid to upper 60s. Then as we come back down here to Chattanooga Valley, looking at a high of 78 degrees and possibly staying in the 70s, uh, 70s throughout the week. Well, what's going to happen with these fall temperatures? Are the trees going to change color? Which that is going to be a factor in a couple of weeks to come. I'm going to have more information coming up about the color, uh, discoloration when it comes to fall and the leaves on the trees. Well, let's go into your mock eye forecast. Today we're looking at partly cloudy skies with a high of 75 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. Then as we go into your Thursday, some clouds will possibly be, be in the Chattanooga area as we're expecting a high of 78 degrees and a low still in the 50s. Then for your Friday, we should see some abundant sunshine as we're looking at a high of 80 degrees, kind of warm there. And then the 80s will continue uh, throughout your weekend. On Saturday, we're looking at a high of 81 degrees with partly cloudy skies and a low of 54 degrees. Then for your Sunday, looking very, very nice as well as we expect temperatures to still be in the 80s and low in the mid to upper 50s. All right, UTC Mox, that is your forecast for this week. It is homecoming 2013, and a lot of us are getting ready to participate in those activities. Well, I just want to let you know the weather is, is not going to be uh, uh, a factor uh, so much for the, in the way of rain or anything like that. It's going to be pleasant temperatures, abundant sunshine, and I hope that everybody enjoy it. And always remember to hop aboard a train and be a Mock. Make sure to give them all and now they know that we on. Don't ever hold your applause for me. Don't ever hold your applause for me. It's your boy Ryan and Joy Man back with the hot list weekly update on Mox News, man. Remember, we're here every Wednesday from 5 to 6. Make sure y'all tune in. But first off, today's show was pretty, pretty comical. I would say pretty comical. First off, Michael Joy. Stick to what you're good at, man. You, you came crew. You can't you can't get these different players. You, you came to lead the Bobcats to the playoffs. So stop being trash and saying you can beat all these new players. Because if you could, you'll still be playing. So I got to say, <laughs> uh, Kevin Durant, Dwayne Wade getting into it. I agree with Kevin Durant. Dwayne Wade is washed up. Needs to stop acting like he's still as good as he used to be. He's not. He's sorry, man. Enjoy. James Harden is better than Dwayne Wade right now. All right, the government shut down. Y'all need to chill out with this, man. There's a lot of people missing out on money. A lot of people not getting checks. And I'm just saying, man, our society means more than a couple people. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all being a little bit greedy right now. And also, President, say it with your chest. Like I said last week, put your foot down. Make sure that things are being enforced. And like with Cynthia Jackson, man, you need to stop tripping, man. You need to start acting professional and be the president. We're going to leave it at that. Y'all heard us. Y'all heard, heard it here first. If you got any opinions, make sure y'all like this uh, video. 
Call subscribe in. to Mox News and call in. Call in. 423-425-4280. Once again, what is it, Jordan? 423-425-4280. That's it. Trash. That's it. The hot list. Weekly update. 5 to 6 p.m. Let's get it. <laughs>